My name is Brian. I live in Toronto. I have primary progressive MS. Jeg hedder Louise. Jeg er 32 år, og jeg fik konstateret sklerose i 97 som 15 år. When I first found out at MS, I was at the park. My kids were three and four, and all of a sudden. I lost my speech. I became totally aphasic. I started not being able to walk. And then my vision started becoming problematic. And at that time, no one thought of MS. They didn't know what it was. På grund af sygdommen med trætheden, bare det, at jeg nogle gange er for smadret til at tage et bad. Et bad? Og jeg tænker, ah, det skal man da kunne gøre. Men nej, det var ikke altid. Started using a cane about three or four years after my early symptoms, um, because I, I couldn't maintain balance. I had to go into a wheelchair. I really fought that. Did not want to go there. Who wants to go into a chair? So I'm only in my 50s now. The idea of having a, having a happy retirement with the person you love has gone out the window for me, really, and I can't really look that far ahead. There are no new treatments on the horizon for me. Um, I see things about relapse remitting MS all the time in the news, and new treatments that are coming up, and new trials for different drugs, but there doesn't seem to be anything at all for progressive MS. People have progressive MS feel they're walking down a long, dark corridor. Now I have seen some younger kids. They have what I have, only it goes way faster for them. Maybe you get it at 18, 21, you're in a wheelchair, 26, you're not here. I mean, please, if you can do something about this, get to it fast. At the moment, the biggest challenge in finding treatments for progressive MS is the lack of complete understanding of the biology that underlies, or the mechanisms that underlie, progression of disability. Uh, the understanding at the moment of relapses is much more complete, and we have treatments that increasingly are able to limit relapses, but to better target progression, the first order of business would be to understand what causes it and we are still at a very iterative phase where we're trying to develop treatments that we think may work, trying to figure out how to measure whether they work or not and in the process still trying to get greater insights into what actually underlies the pathology. Kendskabet til sygdommen, fordi at det ikke altid det virker ikke som om der egentlig er så mange der ved noget om det. I would like everybody to come together and work together, pull all their resources, use all the expertise that they have, whether it be with neurologists, physiotherapists, psychologists, and all work together rather than following just one route for each country. The Progressive MS Alliance has brought together the world's leading experts to identify where the gaps and barriers are to solving this disease. Now we're executing an ambitious plan to make it happen, connecting the world to end progressive MS. And this is how. Through a comprehensive application process, innovative science is being funded worldwide. We will connect this new knowledge to current research. We are learning faster. However, currently, there are no experimental models that mimic the progression of MS. There is an urgent need for better experimental models that reproduce the key clinical and pathological features. This is a major barrier to advancing diagnosis, therapy, and treatment. Research is key, it's fundamental, and it is absolutely critical when you've got a complex problem. And 
understanding progression is about as complicated as it gets in multiple sclerosis. So collaboration is essential, bringing the best brains of the world together to focus on this issue. When a discovery is made, we're moving quickly to conduct trials on promising new agents. And we're mindful that in addition to permanent solutions, people with progressive MS need to manage their symptoms and lives now. We're developing and evaluating new therapies that can help people today. The fundraising for this is critical, it has to be critical. The Progressive MS Alliance is an alliance of MS societies that is bringing together all the key researchers that work on progression across the world. Certainly, will I most desire to be certainly sure. We need help. They need help. And they, they can't wait five years. They can't wait five years. They need help today. Join us and change the world for people living with progressive MS. If not us, then who?